You know, we like new news. Make me feel luxury. Woo, overwhelming. I hope I'm making the right decision. Can somebody help me? Please insert payment now. All I think about is you. Today is Saturday. Um, it's been a couple days since I picked y'all up. We are about to do some boring maintenance stuff. Well, I'd already started. So here's like all my paint supplies. This color, the color that I'm using is what. So this is leftover paint when I um, bought my house or when I, I don't know the color y'all. Whatever this color is, yeah that. So, um, yeah, so I did some touch up paints. It looks really good. It looks new now. So, eh, you know, we like new, new, make me feel luxury, but yeah. So now I need to, well, I was trying to put up these other curtains. I try to put these other curtains up in my living room. I guess I'm trying to be a dope now to put curtains, to have curtains. But it needs like one of the curtain rods needs to be cut. And when I went on TikTok to look at everything, it was showing like a saw, like a I would say a jigsaw. Oh, I don't know what kind of saw it is, y'all. But I'm on my way to go to Home Depot to go get it. I found it online, and hopefully I don't look too lost while I'm there. If possible, if they still have paint samples for like five seven dollars, I'm gonna get um a couple paint samples for my bedroom because i want to paint one of my walls at least that's like in my mind that's what i'm thinking that i want to do oh yeah also it's been raining in houston all week i really 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 need to vacuum the inside of my car and now that it stopped raining i, don't, I won't look so crazy going to the car wash so i'm gonna try to pass by a car wash too <laughs> Okay, guys, we are at Home Depot. It, of course, started back raining. Was not raining? It's more so sprinkling. So I did not wash my car, but I needed to vacuum the inside. So um, I did a little one, two, one, two, and then when it stopped raining, for real, for real, I'm gonna uh, wash my car. Oh, uh, okay. Let's go. Now you would think I would need a basket because I'm coming in here for one thing, but something's gonna tell me I'm gonna need something else for my house. Oh y'all, I think I found something better. This thing right here, like it looked like it has little grooves in here so you can cut evenly um, straight across versus this. I have to put this against something and y'all know I don't know what I'm doing. So I think I'm gonna get this one. So at least it can sit in there and cut. I hope I'm making the right decision. Can somebody help me? Do I get this for better precision and multiple projects? Cause you can cut it in different angles. So you cut it in different angles or should I get this? Because I only have one little small project and it's small. It's cute and dainty. Help guys, all the men, please help 
Okay, y'all, I think I'm about to get some pink samples. They do still have paint samples here for like six, seven dollars. So we're gonna get two for the closest. I did not bring, um, I actually did not bring the actual like um, color that I wanted, but let me go try to get it off memory, which may be bad. And I probably need to go to like uh, to, uh, what's that paint store? Um, Benjamin Moore, but we'll start here. Okay. This is what I'm looking at. I'm looking at more so in the greens area. This one looks, oh, this one's cute. It looks, of course it looks different on camera than it does in person. Um, but let me pick two out. Yeah, this green may be more so here. This one looks cute too. Okay, just a quick look. These are actually all like hunter green. On camera, it looks like a turquoise ish or whatnot. And believe it or not, these are three different shades. Y'all, paint matching should not be this hard. This is crazy. They got so many colors. I mean, good, but woo, overwhelming. Anyway, I'm gonna get two of these. So I am about to see which two to get. Okay, on second thought, I found all of these. I found all of these paint shades. Now, separately, they are all green, but two of these looks completely off. Like this one here looks more gray when it's compared. This one looks more blue. Y'all, I think maybe I should just tape these on the wall first and then get pink samples. Y'all, they got all these paints over here with these yellow signs. I guess these are on sale or people return them or something, but um sweetie this is almost the same price as a sample and if i can get away with just this little small for the shade that i need baby what's the point of me getting a sample so that paint that i definitely just showed y'all like that was i'm sorry y'all okay so y'all know i was over here looking for paint or whatnot and it was just random i said i was gonna get like a paint sample and then i showed y'all the area where they had like discounted paint so i asked a guy like what's up with this paint how much is it gonna charge me etc etc so he kind of like walked me through some questions although i don't know the exact color that i want y'all y'all the paint that um the paint can that i did find is two dollars and twenty cents Even know if it's the right shade but guess who's about to get it me her she yep yep so he's mixing it right now i hope i got the right shade or whatnot but i actually i still have all these samples i'm i'm assuming if it's bad i maybe i can mix it with something else but for 2026 we're just gonna give it a try it's cheaper than a sample y'all overall my spidey senses was right it was good for me to get this basket woo -woo. oh they got carpet no nah, i don't need carpet i don't need carpet but I do, um, okay, so I have 10 minutes for him to mix it up. So I'm about to just, um, we got patio furniture. Hmm. Sorry. Okay. Kind of like a bird. Just so distracted. Um, I'm actually going to look at some mulch for the, um, the front yard. I do want to, I need to like refresh it. Although the season is almost over and it's raining every day. That, but also, um, I kind of want to get rid of some of that stuff that, that the home builders, like when when they built my house, I kind of want to get rid of some of that stuff that the home builders actually put up because it just doesn't serve me. It's not my style. Um, so yeah, but just like to replenish it with mulch, I actually want to take some of the plants out just, and replace it with rocks because why? I don't want to deal with it like at all. But home depot right now have a lot of stuff on quote unquote sale like yellow tags or whatnot and they have a whole some patio furniture here that i'm looking at uh, which i don't need um i would love if i could find some other stuff that's on sale that i actually need but you know we're gonna look around a little bit we got maybe a good seven minutes now but i'm gonna go outside and get the most right now hmm I have black mulch right now. They have brown, which is kind of like your standard. And then they have 
some red. I've seen white before, but I'm not interested. Um, so trying to just figure out what to get. Um, that's brown. They seem like to be the all about the same price. Rolling down a lonely highway, asking God to please forgive me for messing up the blessing He gave to me. I see everything clear but now. Nights is black as black as it's ever been. Without my girl, I'm losing. And I pray that He just sheds His grace on me. I need. Just a feedback with me. Please pull forward slowly. Come this beat. 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 Come this I just washed my car because it stopped raining in Houston so it was sprinkling just a little bit as I was driving over here but eh oh well but looking at the forecast it's saying that today is going to be cloudy and then the rest of the week it's not going to rain anymore so I went ahead and just got my car wash this week because uh, if you don't know we are in Leo season um y'all remember me talking about last month I was like I'm gonna get my life together. I'm gonna eat right and work out so that I can, you know, see what my body can do. I didn't do it. Welcome. I'm Tempest. I didn't do exactly what I said I was gonna do. <laughs> I have not been consistent with eating 100% clean or and eating at all. Unfortunately, my downfall is like not eating enough or not eating at all as I'm over here rambling Yeah, so I didn't do exactly what I need to do. I did not gain any weight my body maintained But I was losing inches in my in my waist. So check Yeah, I'm trying to be outside a little bit more Just to celebrate me be selfish about me spoil me Because we not waiting on nobody else to do it and if who if if i don't do it who will i'll wait i'll wait anyway um yeah i really gotta stop getting on camera like this i mean it is what it is and the way that i got my hair um twisted i couldn't put them all like into a ponytail and that's what i would typically do i will put my hair in a ponytail like from my twist and then put a hat on but i have I did flat twists, not individual twists. The girls who get it, get it. I did flat twists, like going out and to, from the center of my head. So, oh yeah. Okay, let me stop procrastinating and go ahead and vacuum. And then I'll catch y'all up in a bit. All right, y'all. I just came out of AutoZone real quick. Went in and out for filters. Bam, bam, bam. I got a uh, air filter and a cabin filter. I need to, I know I need an oil change soon and when I go you know anytime you go get an oil change for a female they always try to come back with something so that's one less thing that they can come back to me like oh you need X Y and Z yada yada and trying to charge me like $60 for one filter absolutely not like both of those filters combined uh, cost like $40 which in my opinion still is high but 
when you go to the dealership, they'll try to charge you like, like I said, about $50, $60 per filter. Anyway, y'all, let's see what else we're going to get in today. So I think I'm about to get dressed and do something because I can't keep sitting and waiting on other people to do stuff. Pause real quick. I didn't show y'all the paint colors, the swatches. So here are the paint. It's crazy because what I'm looking at, it looked like all of these are the same shade, the same green. Oh yeah, y'all saw. So uh, for $2.26, it's okay. If it's a wrong shade, that's a mistake that we actually can, um, we can accept. I think I'm about to get dressed and go do something. I have no idea where to go. I'm going to just look up some places on uh, on Instagram and TikTok. But I'm not going to go to to my traditional Sunday fun day places just because I don't want like the real turn up turn up. I just want to like, like I said, I just really want to go sit by a bar. I want to sit at a bar and just like vibe out. Um, could I do that at home? Yes. Could I sit in the backyard and do it for free? Yes. But I don't know. I just feel like getting dressed up and going to go sit somewhere. All right, y'all. So, obviously, I am out. Um, Y'all, so me washing my car earlier was, a, it was pointless. Complete pointless. Y'all, it rained. Like, rain, rain. Although, in the forecast, it said it wasn't. Anyway, I got dressed or whatever. I actually... I actually don't know where I'm going. Um, I saw, I looked up some places on Instagram, saw a couple places on TikTok or whatnot, but I don't have like an actual destination. I'm going to go where the vibes are at. So let's just see. Honestly, I got to get back in. I got to get back in the groove of just doing stuff for me by me by myself whenever i want to and i feel bad about it or wanting other people to be there um so yeah so anyway we out leo season we outside okay guys i decided to go to this place called noragami and they're supposed to have a speakeasy um which i love speakeasy so we're going to go try we're gonna try them people out first. I'm putting my shoes on. So I hope it's good. My adventure solo. When you're close to me, you love me right down to my knees. And whenever you let me hit it, sweet like honey when it comes to me. Skin is caramel with the cocoa eyes. Even got a big sister by the day to talk to you. The scallops? Nice. Thank you. Y'all, so first, I hope y'all can hear me. First, I ate the scallop skewers. So good. So good. And also, um, I'm eating all of fibroid friendly type foods and I am avoiding uh, as much soy as I can possibly. So, sushi, A1, but you want to make sure you get like sushi that is fresh, finely cut, premium fish, all that other good stuff. Um, and then also, whatever you get, make sure that you are um, eliminating or uh, avoiding soy as much as possible. So, I'm about to go to my second dish. So, I just ate the hamachi kuro. It has ponzio. I'm pretty sure I butchered that name. Cilantro, truffle, Sarasinos, which are like peppers, and fried garlic. Oh my gosh, y'all. Like, chef's kiss. Oh my gosh, so good. Like, the scallops is good, but the hamacho kudo, 
Mm. So I ordered one more thing, which is something I cannot pronounce, but it's a flounder fan. And I think I'm gonna order uh, something else like a spicy salmon too. So yeah, I'm so excited about food, it's good. Ways will catch you, life will catch you, life will catch you. So far, this place is so good. I, um, so it's like, I, I counted, just by like 24 seats only, like around the bar. Um, actually not like a bar, like a, a drinking bar. It's bar like you can see them prepare your food in front of you. So it's like 24 seats. It's super, super intimate. I love that. So this is kind of like low key in a sense, um, but it's good. So my experience so far is a 10 out of 10, which I'm pretty sure if any of my friends watching this vlog, they're like, what? Because I give people like the real ratings. Uh, the service, A1, the drinks good, the food good, um, the vibe good. Like I don't need my music to be so loud that I cannot talk. And I really hope that um, I don't need my, um, need my uh, speaker, my microphone or whatever. Cause I hope y'all can hear me. But I just, I just love like, it's just so soft. So, so far everything is good. Like the food, the drinks, the service, all of it. Oh, I'm gonna check out the restroom too before we go. So y'all, I was doing this all wrong. I was trying to figure out why I wasn't getting my next um, item that I ordered. But apparently what you're supposed to do, like you get this little brown thing at your plate. This is your black plate, like everybody has one. Y'all can see. So what should happen is that when you're ready for your food, like your next thing, you put the entire like block, or you put the entire block up here, um, and then they bring you like your roll or you're just your next meal. So he just learned me real quick. Either way, this is a, a flounder fish or a spicy salmon. Either either way, one of them. We about to get into it. Spicy salmon. I'm doing the hamachi crudo one more time, y'all. Y'all, the rituals are so cute. Let's push. Oh, okay, okay. Not the automatic open toilet. Okay, y'all, they didn't miss with the restroom either. The restroom is good. So far, it's a 10 out of 10. Okay, I hope y'all can hear me. So, um, you wonder why I was like, okay, with the restroom, because a lot of places in Houston, I, mean, I don't know about anywhere else, but a lot of places in Houston, they'll do all the aesthetics and the, the glitz and glams on the outside, but in the, in the restrooms, they just miss the opportunity. Here, it's clean. It don't smell used, it don't smell old, it don't smell dirty like the water, it don't smell like old anything. It's clean, the toilet raises up by itself. In fact, it's actually a bidet and a, and a toilet. I don't know how that works, but the little gadget on the side lets you know kind of what you want. You need to splash or tush or flush. So, and they got like little Two brushes with toothpaste. Talk to you. Let's try to open this door. Oh, oh this is cute. The bar next door, well, the speakeasy next door is called Hidden Bar. 
and it has a happy hour too. So we're winning today with the happy hours. Um, so I think I'm gonna get another drink, but I'm not sure like what. And yes, I know this is not like healthy. You're not supposed to be drinking. Yada 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 blah blah blah. But it's Leo season, and I'm sticking to the excuse. Y'all, so I'm in this small room right here trying to take a picture. I thought it'd be cute, creative and cute, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna get it. But I thought this was super cute. I don't know, I think it's a lighting, but I'm gonna turn my light on and see what happens. So tonight was actually a success. This place was really good. The food, the service, the quality, the weight, um, the atmosphere, the restrooms, the cleanliness, the drinks, everything was so good. Definitely will be coming back. So they have, the place I went to is um, called Norigami. You guys see it in the background, Norigami. And then they have a speakeasy also that's inside of there called Hidden Bar A1. And then they typically don't, um, they typically don't change the music or whatever, but the guy who started bartending, he changes to like this TikTok, R&B, rap, mix, uh, or whatever. So pretty good. Either way, my night, 10 out of 10. And while I was there, I met a young lady who suffered from PCOS. So I was telling her some good old tips, some things that she can use in reference to regulating her body and, um, combating PCOS for her body that you would use for fibroids as well so that was good just to chit chat with her and some couple other people that was at the bar so always good to just get out and meet like new people or whatever I don't know if I showed y'all my outfit or y'all saw it but ow and I got some heels on anyway um y'all I had a good time I'm about to go home lay it down so this will be the end of our vlog i appreciate y'all as always for watching once again thank you so much until next time peace bye oh 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 oh, oh. please don't forget to like comment and subscribe send this to a friend share this run the numbers up y'all appreciate y'all so all right peace yeah.